is. The orphan spirit is a killer spirit that makes people fight one another and fight for position in life and keep them busy with fighting instead of living out the God-given purpose and call. This orphan spirit you get in a church, you get it in businesses, you get it in ev everywhere in society. You get the orphan spirit. We need to defeat the orphan spirit. The, way to, the only way to defeat the orphan spirit is by finding yourself in Jesus. See, if you say on yourself and he says the fence. The orphan spirit is never satisfied because he's got a great longing for something that is missing. <coughs> Whenever a person got a longing for something that is missing, he will always search for that something that is missing. Some searching is good. Other searching can turn bad if people do not turn to the source of their salvation and healing, which is Jesus. I mean, the orphan spirit... The if he does not turn to Jesus who will introduce him to his father. He will try to find it at other places. For instance, boys or young men will look for a mother instead of a wife. Boo! As daar a ookie lang so sit, dan sê vir hom, jy het nie nog a mama nodig nie, jy het a vrou nodig. The person, the, the man or the boy or young man who's got the orphan spirit will not look for a wife. He will rather look for another mom, for a mama. And he will even marry that mama not to lose her again. That's the truth. Amen. This morning there was a young man. God exposed his heart. Not to humiliate him, but to help him. He had an orphan spirit. I asked him, you got a good relationship with mother? He was not telling the truth. I know it. So he is always busy with women that is older than him. Why? These young men that is always busy with women older than them, they are looking for mother. Every young man, man will want to have a mother. That's natural. I see that my boys almost got a better relationship with my wife than with me. But they've got a good relationship with me, make no mistake. But they need a mother. I mean, they need a mother. When, you understand what I say? I mean, so when, a, when that mother figure is missing, if you look at the lo wrong sources for salvation and help, you see that guy is looking for, always going out with older women, older women, older women. He's not looking for a wife. He's looking for a mother. And he needs Jesus to be healed. Amen. Hallelujah. Mostly he needs to forgive. How do you get free from the orphan spirit? By forgiving. Because our parents raised us as they know best. You must always understand that. Say to the guy next to you, as they have known best. They lacked a lot of knowledge. We are growing. I know more than my father and mother today. And my children hopefully will know more than I know today. In the future they will know more. Because we're growing in God's word. With every generation, we are growing in God's word. Hallelujah. The woman who's got an orphan spirit will always look for love from men. And if she ends up in the wrong fellowship, she will end up in bed. That woman or young woman will give everything to receive acceptance. She first needs to seek an acceptance by Jesus. Then she will have, have a healthy relationship with men. Hmm? Listen, we can easily criticize, but there's always a root problem. And the root problem comes as we have shaped, our characters have been shaped by wrong choices of our fathers and mothers and ourselves. Say wrong choices of our fathers and mothers and ourselves. That's why when you come to Jesus, you break with everything. I tell you everything. 
Success as a Christian is to break completely with your past. Not rejecting your parents, never ever. But to cut and to start anew. Give God a hand. Second is to, to cut and to start anew. Because you cannot bring your old Egyptian ways into Canaan. That's why it took the Lord such a long time to bring the Israelites into the promised land. Because they were full of Egypt. That's the problem. Why do you think it took them so long? I mean, it is a short, short way to Canaan. Why did they take so long? Why did it take 40, 40 years? To get the Egypt out of them. So God's got promised land for you in mind. But he, he's got quite a, some battle to get Egypt out of you. Most of us is on our way to the promised land. But let me tell you, everything is known by fruit. If I look at you tonight and I look at many people, we cannot deceive ourselves. You know where you are. Are you in the desert or are you in a promised land? You speak for yourself. Where are you? Jesus wants you whole. Satan again is to Jesus want you whole. But if you hold on to your Egyptian ways, you can never grow to maturity and wholeness. Leave Egypt behind. In other words, leave the world behind. Boom. You need to make radical decisions when you come to Jesus. I mean, there's different, there's different things that the Lord require from different people as their callings differ. For an apostle or a prophet or an evangelist, a pastor or a teacher, the calling requirements is different than other Christians. But with other Christians, there will be requirements of holiness. Amen. Jesus help us. Amen. And as you leave Egypt and you run to Canaan, the problem is many times halfway we stop and we start to long back for Egypt just as the Israelites did. Say to God next to you, do not long back. That's the problem with many Christians. They run fast for a while. And then it can maybe after be after seven years or ten years. They start to long back for Egypt. They long f for the food in Egypt. Hallelujah. You need to look forward. Cut with the past. 